Hello, citizens of internet, and welcome to this. Wow. Wow. See, I, I, t I told you I can't really do it. Can't do it. You just wow. Mine just sounds weird. It just goes wow. We're playing Crash Two. Hey, it's Crash Bandicoot. This is a long time coming. Yeah, how long ago was it that we played Warped? It was a couple of years now, maybe? A couple, I think a couple years ago, and we're like, let's play the next one, and then we never did. Let's check out the license. <laughs> <laughs> What's on that license? Oh, it's not even the full version. There he is. <laughs> Look at him floating. I wish you could, like, control him with one of the sticks during loading screen. I wish you keep, keep zooming in. There he is. <laughs> He's coming for you. Give him a kiss. <laughs> he looks really bad. Does he? I think he looks kind of good. He looks not great. It might be because like I didn't really like play the originals when I was younger. Because you were stupid. Because I had an N64. So that was cool. I mean, he doesn't look... He looks uh, too cartoony for me. Hmm. So I don't... I kind of don't mind the hyper cartoony look of some of this stuff. Engine looks real bad, though. Yeah. <laughs> Did you notice the little uh, Easter egg in the moon there? No. It has the... When the moon floats by, it has the Naughty Dog, like, print. Oh, that's cool. There's something about, like, the way the characters look in this kind of gives me, like, the Ratchet and Clank reboot vibes. Yeah, I could see that. There's our hero, Coco. Yeah. <laughs> Coco Bandicoot, the true hero. Have you played as her yet? No, not yet. Just in, like, the stages where you actually play as her in 3. You can be a free guy right off the bat. I like that. That crash head is like the only thing that I think they kept that looks <laughs> exactly the same. <laughs> well, I think the the Tana heads in one are pretty close. Yeah, they, I think they're pretty close. I'm just gonna go down this hill. Whoa! Whoa! This also is a little bright for me. Like, it dim it down like the old one. Yeah, like they really didn't. Like take it the take it down at all. No, oh, and then some of the features like don't have good lighting effects on them, but then they're like, let's brighten this up a um, hundred times. Yeah. <laughs> let's slip up that brightness slider. Um, sir, should we take up the contrast too? What the fuck is contrast? And maybe it's just me, but I don't like that the crystals and stuff are like on the pillars now. I like them above. Mm. I like doing this because it looks like what are you doing? It looks like he wants to touch the floor, but he knows that he shouldn't. Stop it, Crash! How do you do that? He's he was just doing it on his own. I kept trying to get him to touch the ground, but he keeps wanting to do something else. Uh, how do you play as Coco here? Um, she's she shows up. I don't know if she shows up in this first. Like selection of levels, but I know she's in the second. Oh, okay. You go up and talk to her, and then you can just like hit R2 to switch back and forth, I think it is. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Now, are we 100 percenting this? I mean, we can try. I don't know if we'd stick for it for very long, but. Okay, don't hit any boxes in this level. Yeah, that's to get the blue gem. Yep. Do we want to just get the, the clear gem first? Whatever's easier. It all depends on this one box. Ah. All right, we're going for the clear gem. Wow! 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 Here we go. We play brash candy boot. <laughs> that water is something. Uh, it's it's. I mean, in the sections where it's supposed to be mud, it looks okay. Yeah. How does it feel to play? Yeah, I mean, it feels pretty good. What was really, like, catching my eye about it is that when I was playing Crash 1, I was like, this feels really stiff for, like, a remake. And then, 
hear a crash too, it's like feels perfectly fine. Well, Crash 1 was always pretty stiff, though, because he couldn't do a lot of the things he can do in this one. Yeah, which was making me think maybe they, like, did that on purpose, like, recreated the stiffness of 1. Yeah, that could be. Which I guess would make sense if you go over that really authentic remake kind of thing. They even say in some of the loading screens, like, for old school experience, try playing with a directional pad. Can you play with the D-pad? Yep. That's awesome. I'm like, no thank you, please. You gotta play with the D-pad? Nope. I will use the control stick. That's as, not authentic. As God intended. What's up here? Nothing's up here. Probably needed that. Oops. Nope, slide jump. There you go. And the slide jump is like one of the most like satisfying feeling things. Right? This I bird looks it. rough. He looks real fuzzy. Come here, you son of a bitch. Oh. Oh. Ruined it. Can't get those boxes. Ugh. Ugh. Nope. You ruined it. It's I over. Like, I felt like I almost could. Huh. Yeah, but you're not quite. Oh, it just you have to kill yourself. <laughs> feels like you can just get there. Well, like oh. that bird went down super quick. Yeah, he's uh. not, he's not supposed to go down that fast. Oh, so I just can't get up there at all anymore, huh? Nope. So I was thinking if I could get up onto this one up here, I could slide jump over to the other one. But uh. why do they make it so tantalizingly close? It is for the there extra we go. Oh, you can. How about it? So I heard that sometimes if you spin at the same time, you get a little extra height. Oh, all right. Oh, <clears throat> <this is. laughs> Let's see if it, I see if I can make lightning strike twice. Urgh. Okay. Hey. Someone's top 100% crash boy. Is it you? Probably not. Hey, what? How do you feel about this coming to Xbox? And I'm, I'm okay with that. So, I mean, Xbox had some Crash games. They didn't they didn't have the good ones, but they had some. They didn't have, they had, they didn't have the good ones. And, like, this this be the first time that the good ones are on a different console. So I'm kind of, like, torn about it. Like, it shouldn't matter, but... Yeah. These were PlayStation games, and now they should stay PlayStation games. I guess the more people that get to play good games the better yeah i guess if you if it does really well on both maybe we'll get new, a new crash game yeah should be pretty nice like this crash not tribal tattoo crash like yeah. those two other ones not twin sanity crash uh twin sanity wasn't terrible no i remember us getting really frustrated at it though oh it's a very frustrating game can you not do the the cheat with the side anymore? No, because they like put a wall on it over here now. That's bullshit. Do we get the gem? Hey, there we go. Hooray! Take me away! Oh. Oops, lost connection. Well, why? Look at that strut. That's a good strut. I like that walk. It's pretty good. Let's see if we can get this blue gem. Wow! Hell yeah! So, did you see who's voicing Crash in these ones? Is it Jess Arnell? Yeah. Did he do the voices for some of the other newer Crash games too? I think he did. I think he probably did Twin Sanity up, maybe. Mm. I don't know who voiced him the original time, but. Yeah, I don't know either. I just know that Jess Harnell's woe is real bad. Yeah. <laughs> this is a lot deeper than the original Crash. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> How you do it? You gotta go, whoa! I love this game. Yeah, like I said, I never grew up playing these games. The only one I really played was was Warped 
when we played through it. The warped got real bad. We didn't beat that one, did we? We did. Did we? Yeah. Oh, this is going to take some doing here. Check it from the left. Up. Oh, yeah. Because you don't break that one right out of the way. Ah! Oh. Yeah. Oh, I almost made it. I was, you would think that they'd keep the cheat in for the relic, though. I don't... That's dumb. Yeah, because getting stuck down there just wastes time. Ah! Thought I almost had it with the little spin trick. I'm sure some speedrunners will find a workaround for it somehow. I bet. Maybe it's got to do with that, like, that jump if you time it right. Yeah. Because I know if you do the slide jump... There's a little bit of leeway where you can slide over a gap before you fall down it. Oh, I gotcha. There's that blue gem. Huzzahs! 